Yo! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the 28th episode of the Streamer's Paradise podcast. What's going on, Bo? What's up, Clutch? Hey, 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 hey. What up, everybody? Actually, <laughs> you caught me. I was like, I was like, oh, we got a couple minutes. I'm going to uh, try to place this order. Yep. What'd you buy in? Shirt. From Streamer's Paradise, Before right? Gone. Yeah, yep. Before they're gone. Which one? Ooh, okay. Can't tell you. You have to wait till it comes in and see. Or I could just no, look just at your stuff. order. <laughs> 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 but I'm not placing it. Uh, uh, the, the SP Sapphire. Let's go. Yeah, they're about to be, they're about to, no, they're not leaving, I don't think. Yeah. But. No, not yet? No, because I'm, Yanni likes them too much. All right, perfect, good. Because I've been, uh, you guys, as you guys know, uh, I've been jobless for a little while, but paychecks coming. So Let's go. Get the shirt. Get the shirt. Facts, right? Facts. Let me do something here real quick. Requiem with the first time chat. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Mutant first time chat. Thanks for being here. Freak Koofy. Freak Koofy. Welcome in with the first time chat. Thank you guys for the follows. Welcome on in, guys. I hope you are all excited. We're going to talk some shit today. Like, <laughs> Yeah, every Friday night, Treble Gal, at 8 o'clock, we do a VIP announcement. We talk about everything in streamers paradise all of the trends for the week all of the top supporters uh vips mvps giveaways i mean everything all of it is that socials everything socials right i can't forget the socials my bad clutch i didn't mean that. Well, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, okay. <laughs> it's really be popping off friday night though i love all those stats it's been the whole hour <laughs> literally the whole hour telling everything that we make in that week progress i love it it is. It's a lot of progress. It, it takes a lot of time. She she puts all that shit together. So all the staff team takes all of that information throughout the week. We know everybody's high numbers for the most part, all that shit. And then, you know, they uh, she puts it into a speech. And then yeah. me and she, uh, Dingo, read it off. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Highlight so many members. So many members. It's so, so, so lit. Yo, so it's coming up on a whole year, bro. We started doing this shit in November of last year. It's coming up on a year of doing podcasts. I, it's hard to believe we're only coming up on 30 episodes, but at the same time, it's like, damn, 30 episodes, you know? Yeah, it's because we were doing the, we well, were doing like every other week, right? So that's For the, the longest. If you think yeah. about that, right? We just started doing the week, the weekly, like a couple months back. So if we would have started that from the beginning, we probably would be like 50, 60 plus right now. You might be. <clears throat> I like doing these years. things, though. I mean... I do. Like, I enjoy it. So so we try not to talk when we first hop in the call and we share we share our video like, and everything like that. We try like, not like to talk. We literally try. Because, literally, we walk away. We go do shit. Yeah, yep. because the best conversations usually happen as soon as we get there. We're like, this bullshit, this bullshit. Did you hear about that? da 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 But... I wanted to say, did you, just like something stupid, did you see the new Elite controllers? I know you're a mouse and keyboard guy, but did you see that, that they're coming out with a new Elite controller? No, they're changing it so it'll be the Elite 3, right? Because they had a first, they had a second. No, this is so called the Elite 2 Core, right? So, so it doesn't have any are, paddles. It has like um, the triggers and then adjustable sticks for tension. It's like $50 cheaper and it has the magnet like the, um... so hold on, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Yeah. I pulled it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sounds pretty cool. I want to see what it's about. So, <clears throat> yeah, let me uh, let me just play this. Wait, no, this, this is, yeah, this is the, this is the core. It's white too, apparently. Yo, hell yeah, these things are worth it. I love these fucking controllers. I, I used to use a scum. I got I never used the PS4. Yeah, nah, hell no. Know. If I had a lead, imagine how much we're better play IBM right now, yo. I had to I had to go dig this thing out. But I do I do my skills on the regular. So it's not instead of 179, it's 129. So it's got the trigger locks and it's got some kind of tension thing with this scuff key looking thing. You just tension you can make it tension. Oh. That's great. Customizable profiles. But there's no paddles. It's like this thing. Like yeah, right, like the scuff thing. Yeah. Like use that to pro yeah, Wait, there is paddles. There's not paddles. 
I'm pretty sure there's no paddles. Optional paddles? Paddles are optional. Yeah, you might true. be able to buy I them, think, yeah. I think you could take them off of the Elites too, right? You can take them off. people taking them off and putting the scuff ones on the Elite controller. No, you can, you can take them off. Um, let me see. So there's a new version of the Xbox Elite controller in town as of Wednesday. The gamepad is available for pre-order in the two-tone color scheme with white, black grips. The model is technically cheaper. Known as the Series 2 Core, the controller is selling for $129.99, $50 less than the MSRP of the existing all-black version, which launched in late 2019 for $179. The reason for that, and the Core, Core, in the name, the product hints that the white Elyries 2 gamepad doesn't come with most of the accessories that are included with the black model. Instead, what you get for $129.99 is the controller itself, a braided USB-C to USB-A cable, and a tool that allows you to adjust tension on the GamerPad's thumbstick, along with an extended one-year uh, warranty. Wednesday announced confirmed multiple leaks over the past. Asked if there are plans to sell the Black Series 2 model in a cheaper core package as well. They're offering a limited to the white version. So the continue really looking for, especially for the price conscious gamer. The thing is, is that it doesn't, see, it doesn't say that it doesn't, you know, essentially fit that stuff, but it doesn't come with it. So, so, I, I so it probably just doesn't come with the, the extra stuff, right? Like, that's the only thing that's different, but it has to be accepting core, of it. The core probably doesn't come with it, but is accepting of it, I would assume. All right. Right, because it's the core, right? Here's the basic. Chat, you want to, who want has one cheaper, of these controllers? The who has a Series 2 uh, Elite controller? I've got nothing in my back. I'm naked <laughs> out here. I got one. And you, are you Xbox? You like Xbox controller? Hell yeah. I, I, got, I, I got, like the Xbox controller better. I got a yeah. scuff too, but it's fucking. After using, after using it for a while, like I used to be a PlayStation controller, but then after using the uh, Xbox controller, I feel like because I have this, this hooks up to my computer. Watch, I could probably give this shit. I don't even. I got an Xbox controller. I thing got is, a battle beaver. Oh, no, yeah, you scuff, do. A scuff one. <gasps> oh, really? This thing has been sitting in a drawer for like fucking hey, yo, over bro, <laughs> before we started these podcasts, bro. Like two I'm years, bro. Used to it, bro. I'm just saying. Same. Look at this shit. It's mint. <laughs> I'm saying dude, my, the only my thing I play on a basic controller. You really think the, the only thing I me out I, more will, the, I think the, the the paddles are great. I I will say these uh thumbsticks they wear out. Let's see how this goes. Uh, okay, okay. I mean, I played on Xbox too for a while. Like I was on 360 heavy. So I I I know how to fuck with the Xbox controller. I basically just have the same. Binds on both controllers. This is the same thing. The only thing that's really different is the switch. So this is the that Battle Beaver up. that that Two Twisted has that he talks about. I just went into a, like a little loop here. He's been talking about this Battle Beaver, and I guess Yanni just purchased one too. Is that correct or am I incorrect? Did you bought a headset? Who did you get somebody else to buy this this uh, this controller? Do they have sticks like uh, the um? The triggers, the the trigger sticks things like, I the didn't buy the Battle Beaver yet, but they look wild. I mean, do they have the the extra sticks? Do, do you use Xbox? This, this is. I want to know. It's nice about the uh, scuff. You can pull these things out really easy. Oh, you I can do that with the them. elites too, though. Oh, you can. Yeah, okay, look. See, I never had an elite. The elites are badass, bro. They come with all oh different size, all different everything. I never had I never had the elite and then oh, fucking pops right though. What these, is that these, is that oh yeah yeah yours has to take the face off right you got to take the face off of it yeah yeah these these are magnetic way better than that the that's scuff pretty, is built kind of cool. cheap in comparison to the elite but the elite has more problems maybe I don't know they are magnetic that's actually magnetic. <laughs> I really like the way that the uh, elite 2 feels but this might be the next controller that I get if it has the extra sticks. Does it have the extra sticks, though? What do they call this? I mean, that's actually really nice, too. Paddles, right? That's, that's, paddles, right? That's the Elite right. 2? Yeah, like different. Paddles, I think the yeah. paddles you usually see, but regardless, I think it's paddles. Or, you know? Do I see paddles as an option here? That's where it's different. 
I wouldn't even know what I use for that. Oh, you can literally pick how many buttons are in the rear? Oh, okay. What are the, what are the, what are the people in chat, what are the majority you use for the paddles for? Like, do you use that for your sliding? Do you use that for your jumping or what? I use my what paddles to slide, jump, reload, switch weapon. You don't have to move your fucking fingers. That's okay. the point of yeah, it. You when, don't I move. Used to use okay. I know that's that, a, that, that, a lot of it on um, prone. So I would do like the main one that my finger rests on one side was prone, and the other was weapon swap. So I didn't have to stick, take my finger off the trigger to, to swap weapons or move the sticks around to, to go prone, like you know, drop shot. Yeah, see, mine's different. Than I, I drop shot with my analog stick. Usually, what I do. But is 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 okay. mouse and keyboard really that much of an advantage over controller once you get the hang of it? It's, <clears throat> it's that much. I mean, in a sense, right? So like, this is what I could say is like, uh, controller for like for like COD and stuff. They Jump, do slide, have drop, like an yeah. aim assist, right? You can you can aim assist, right? They have built an aim assist. Yeah, With a keyboard and mouse, you don't. Yeah, I would say it's an advantage. I, I would not call it an advantage. Like I'm not one of those guys on 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 keyboard and mouse saying, "Oh, you guys have aim assist," because I can adjust my sensitivity. And I can be way more accurate because I'm not using just a thumb and a stick. Like I, I can move my hand six inches, three inches, an inch, right? Like I feel like even with that aim assist, mouse and keyboard is still way more precise. Once you get used to it, you gotta get you gotta play on the same sense and you gotta use a calculator and try to keep the sensitivity, like basically your uh, all your movements the same across games. Like if you play multiple games, right? Because if you get used to saying Apex, it's like really fast-paced movements, and then you go to COD, like your your shots are gonna be off. So you want to try to like, right? Because every every game's got a built-in multiplier for for sensitivity. You want to try to match those up. But isn't that you? But yeah, I feel like I'm way more accurate. With, like I have a lot more room for error. I think I understand, I understand that because like you know you get your whole hand on a mouse right to be able to aim better. I think that's the overall like my advantage of mouse and keyboard, and also to be able to like custom keybind your shit where it's just everything is close to each other, where you don't have to move your fingers that much. I think that's really your like best advantage with mouse and keyboard as well. So so a lot of like veteran mouse and keyboard players make fun of me, like people that I play with them because they use a mouse with no buttons. So it's just like the two main buttons, right? So I use a G502, and I have, uh, you know, left click, right click. But I have these two buttons right here that are used for, like, DPI switching, and I took that off. You can set different profiles, but I use these for in-game. Same thing with the buttons on the side. I have, like, a, what is a typical, like, forward and back. Uh, like what do you use browser. it to do? I use, so I use them um, for, like, grenades, so utility, uh, yeah, lethals, yeah. right? Because I'm, I'm used to playing on a controller. I'm not used to just using one hand to... Just move, Why don't you, know you I mean? get one of those things with all the fucking buttons in it, man? Like that shit seems like that's the that way. That doesn't <laughs> seem to be coordinated, man. That seems like it's a controller that it's just you got to get used to holding holding it down, right? Yeah, but I've it, seen, I've seen everything those. is right there, bro. Because you can go this way and this way, right? Yeah, two different and things. you can each, use your knuckles finger. and everything. Like that thing comes yes. down and. <laughs> that thing is bizarre, yeah, bro. Those. I don't even know how I've many. I've seen those, and it looks like too overwhelming. Like it's like too much. Yeah. I've seen them. I've never, I've never tried that, but. Uh... I rather get. I don't know. I, I actually like this mouse. They actually, uh, they actually are coming out with a new one, a new G502 that I want to get. Uh, it's mostly about looks. It's some improved features, and it's a little lighter. It comes with skates, so I like. So I bought skates for my mouse. Right, so these things are like little pieces of plastic that are thicker than what usually comes on here. That it helps it slide across the mouse pad easier. So this is the thing. Like this is, this is like kind of it. This isn't the whole thing. There's better ones than this. No, I don't. Know. I've seen. I know. I've, I've, I've seen. That's too much. Really. What? That's everything I mean, is right there. You know how to master that, you bro. Know. You can do anything you put your mind to, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you just practice. With it. I wouldn't have the time to. Like, look at all these gamer keyboards that have just everything in, like, one little spot. You just plug it in with a USB. I actually thought about buying, uh, half a, like, one of those half a keyboards. Mm. Not, for, not for not for home gaming. gaming. I see a lot of gamers. So I have a, like, I have a, a tablet, like a, Windows, a Microsoft this Surface. This is the Azeron Compact. Sorry. 
No, so when I go on vacation, I, I bring the tablet to do work on. But I was like, yo, I can get, I can get one of those half keyboards and, and a decent mouse, and I can game on vacation. I could, I could use uh, the GeForce Experience to log into my Steam. But then I was like, maybe I should be on vacation and just stay on vacation, <laughs> step away from the games. There's so a, I didn't buy it. There's a bigger one than this though, and I can't. I've seen it. I know there's. It's an exp- It's expensive too. Yeah, it's really expensive, but. It kind of it's kind of like this one in the sense of like how it it has the two it goes over your yeah hands yeah here. it goes over as well that's so many buttons like how would you need more than that one two three four five six it's seven 10. eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen that I can count right there and the joystick and the joystick and that little yeah that this one um this thing right there's a little joystick on the side. Yeah, yeah, look at the one Dopey's. Yeah. Like, I, I think Dopey got one of the ones. I saw a picture from Dopey. That's this thing, right? The cyborg? Yeah, this is the one that goes over. I want to see you use that, Dopey. You got to use that shit already. <laughs> yeah, I've heard the Razor Death Adder is a pretty popular mouse. I wonder if there's a video of anybody using this motherfucker. You can probably YouTube it. Should be somebody. Yo, two, you use Xbox controller or PS4? I just want to know. So that goes in play. So you, so you still use the mouse and then you use that thing too. An honest review, apparently. Oh, you still use a mouse with that? Oh. Yeah, so that's, that goes in the that goes in yeah. the other. Okay, so okay. this is an Azeron. Look at that edition. shit. This is specifically the Cyborg edition. And Azeron sent this to me upon my request because I found this thing online and I wanted to review it so bad. So, first of all, thank you to Azeron for sending me this product. Dude, Second, that's so many buttons. Take, it's friggin' awesome. This uh, may be my favorite piece of gaming gear that I've yet reviewed on this channel. So what is it? It's pretty much a replacement for your gaming keyboard. If you do gaming with a keyboard and mouse, you do a mouse in one hand and this on the other. It's got like 25, 26 keys, something like that, insane amount. Um, Specifically, if you get this edition, this is the Cyborg edition, and the Cyborg one has the most keys on it. It has all of that. So essentially, you plug this into your computer, put your palm down on there, and then you map each of these keys to do one of your keyboard commands. And there's a thumbstick, right? The worst part about gaming on a keyboard for me is using WASD to move around. Yeah. Thumbstick, <laughs> no, nah, you don't have to do that. You can just use the thumbstick. And the first thing, the very first thing I wanna talk about with this is the keys on it itself, the little buttons, right? These have one of the most satisfying clicks of any button of any device I have ever, ever <laughs> used. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually fairly important. It's pretty important. much like a mouse click. <laughs> it is very for important. each individual key. Wow. How long could I do that for? Forever. For uh, five uh, years. It would be amazing. Years. One thing I'll say about them is you need to be a little careful, especially when first starting to learn how to use this device because that's crazy. they're really sensitive. It, it takes almost no pressure at all, right? You just got to think about moving your hand in that direction and click, 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 clickety click. Now, this has two thumbsticks on it. One is right here, and one is right here. You would never want to use both at the same time. I mean, if you're using a mouse and keyboard layout, you pretty much are going to use this thumbstick as your WASD, and then you're going to use your mouse to aim. This thumbstick, solid. It's a big, fat thumbstick. It's got a really satisfying click underneath there, too, that you can map to whatever you want. And next to the thumbstick, there's another button. But if you want, you also have this over here, which typically would map to your arrow keys. So if you're using arrow keys to navigate, or a certain game needs arrow or keys healing to healing or whatever, that little but you could just right have a button thumbstick. paired the to actually healing on the is, hand. There's so many more now, buttons do you need on this fucking thing? We need to talk about that because to get this to work for you, all of this, there's tons though, of screws like, under here so that it comes with a little like, wrench like, you can use to change all of it. The movement to make it to what you want. It just takes time for that. Overall, like you have to fucking study that shit. But if you master that, you could be unstoppable with that shit. Bro, you have to twist it and make it so that way, like it all moves the way you want it. Like, like if it doesn't That's just crazy, it's it like does, so adjustable. Yeah, yeah. Your hand. 
around. You can change. Well, no, that's that's color. actually like pretty sweet, right? Because like every keyboard is a standard size, right? Like whether your hand fits it or not. Good luck, you know, figure it out. Yeah, it's basically a hand size. You got a small hand or a big hand. You got to adjust it to your, you know. Dude, that uh, thing yeah. is nuts. Just wait for my big reveal. Dopey's got one. I'm going to show Far it in a apart. second. Your fingers are spread. You can change how close Speaking the buttons reveals, are to your palm. You can change the height of the palm rest. You can change the yeah, angle of the thumbstick to be able to customize it. I just want to see some gameplay like, or anything. I thought the orange looked really cool. No ding for the cool to you. That many buttons in the game. This is overkill for most games. But I asked for the cyborg one so I could get the full experience. And man... I don't regret it. But that does lead me to wanting to talk about the last thing I, I always talk about with a product like this, which is overall I think, value. Yeah, now, the, 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 the cyber one here, if you order I on Azeron's website, Azeron, or go through some non-competitive, non-ranked games, maybe some training, maybe a, an there's offline there's a mode. Something. There's one reason why I don't play go mouse and keyboard right so now. This, to go to it, you know? Basically, he's saying that it's worth it. <clears throat> he's worth it. It's awesome, man. He's saying that it's worth it. So this is dopey. It's a little over, a little overkill. Dopey's exact one. I don't got time to learn it. Yeah, this one. That's, nice that's pretty sweet. Oh, you can customize the colors when you order? I, like I guess color. so. But that... That's awesome. Let's just jump right into this fucking thing. What do we think about this? What do we think about hosting going away? What's next? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I don't know. They're doing a lot of stuff. A lot of big changes lately. <laughs> All right, so I, I heard about this, but I don't know if they into full detail. So, like, wh why are they here? <laughs> why are they doing it? Why are they taking away host host mode? What's up, Bobby? I'd break that so easy, Hadouken says. <laughs> Clutch World, thanks, everybody, for being here. Weedy, how are you? So, they're taking it away, and they're changing it to something with uh, suggested channels. Something with suggested channels at the removal of hosting October 3rd. According to Twitch, the change is being made to the platform because the experience it delivers to viewers doesn't match their expectations. The update also suggests that although hosting on Twitch can be beneficial, it also may limit a streamer's growth potential because they are not able to build meaningful connections with their audience. So they're going to be leaving host, uh, I mean, uh, raid, obviously, right? So, so what it sounds like is they, they're saying that they can't be, build a meaningful connection to their, their audience. So we're going to choose who we put in, in front of instead of letting the streamer you've been watching all day choose who they put you in front of. Unless you raid, Notice that right? they're going to leave you with more suggestions. <laughs> yeah, but like, what's the difference? If I, so if I raid you, right, and I host, so what's the difference of me just hosting you? Or me just going on my chat? I, I have people, at least I think I do, I do to fish on my own Twitch, but I think I have people like automatically hosted during the day. No, but I think it's different from a raid from a host because like most raids you do at the end of the stream, you know, and you want to send your audience to a good person to, to network from there. But hosting people do that at any time. Like people just do it at the beginning of somebody else's stream that they know. Somebody showed up in my stream recently because of hosting, so it might not be. I wonder how much like effort it takes Twitch to have that feature. You think it like Maybe. takes anything? No, it's it's no. Once they put it, it's it's out there. It's it's at this point, it's all electronic. You know, it's right, like but a, it's like, not taking know. up any memory. It's not doing anything like that. Okay, so so what are they replacing it with? Because well, what do they what do they said they want to they want to replace it with what suggested streamers, suggested channels? You said like if it, if it's a way to get you to the recommended section, then I'm all for it. After the removal of the host function, Twitch recommends that live streamers that wish to support other content creators give them shout-outs on their shows and other content continue to raid them or add the users to their new suggested channel section. The key difference between hosting and raiding on Twitch is that a host will embed the alternate content onto the user's channel, while an account that raids another will usually bring their audience with them off the page onto that of their target. Raiding will remain in place for the foreseeable future, well, that's good. <laughs> For the foreseeable yeah. future, okay. I don't know. I mean, man. it wouldn't Something really change too much about what we do. We would, we would just have to ping and change every hour, and like things would really drastically change for us if they took away raids. Making it the most useful tool for Twitch streamers to send their viewers to another channel once the host option has been deleted. 
So raids are staying, host is going. Who cares, right? Does anybody care? I mean, it's like it's not the end of the deal, right? Because you can still raid them. It's still going to be like... Yeah. yeah, I guess the only thing is that it's going to be for, for lurkers. What happens there? I don't know. What do you mean? Like, because I've, I've been sent before. Like, I've been on the raid train, right? And I haven't gotten sent to the channel, but I've been on... Say, I've stayed on your channel while you've hosted that view, that streamer. It's happened to me. Oh, so you're saying what happens in that case now? Yeah, because now that just just kind of dies, right? Like, if there's no host, it's like, do I just die there? Like, what do I or where do I go if, if it doesn't send me with the raid, right? Because that's happened. To, I'm sure it's happened to plenty of people. You'll be sitting on an offline channel. Yeah, pretty much. That's basically that's what it is now. But when when you don't get over and the host isn't there or whatever. <clears throat> hey ma, hey, thanks for stopping in. Hadouken, Cobra, Anon. Bobby, Dopey, Yanni, thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging. Desi, nice to see you. The Raging Noob. Do we care about well, it? Before I, say it uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a big uh, one way or the other. It's just a host. I mean, it's not really what they're going to do? They're going to delete my automatic host? Like, whatever. Yeah. Like I, do you, have you ever looked at, a, at a, a raid before? I mean, a host before? Like, somebody's hosting a channel, look at it, and go into the channel and say, hey... No, because usually, to be honest, usually I'm I'm tuning into to somebody who's live. Like I don't go to somebody who like I don't go to your channel and you're and, and just sit there and see if you're hosting somebody when you're not online. You know it, what I it mean? Only, it will only be at that moment if you're hosting them because sometimes when you host somebody, it doesn't show that that person. I'll, I'll see you online, and let's say you're hosting JF at the moment. I, I wouldn't see JF until I pop into your screen that you're hosting JF basically. So I wouldn't. Yeah, you're, and you're offline, so it's not like you're, it's not like you're going to show up on the live section to where I'm going to like, so when I go on, when I come on Twitch, it's like, I look at like my the people I follow who's live and that's who like, all right, who's on and where am I going to go? And I'm not going to like say like JF is streaming and then I'm going to go to Hazy's channel who's offline. You know what I mean? But it never shows you offline. It shows you online, right? It shows you when streaming when you're hosting. Yes. I don't, it I don't does. think so. Yes, it does. Yeah, no, it does. does it? That's why yeah. I click in. That's the only reason I wouldn't see that as like, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, why would you I've click their name? I was exactly. That's what I'm saying because I've never gone to anybody's channel who was hosting some. Like I've never clicked. Them. It absolutely is that way. Uh, host up if you can, peeps. You might not be able to do it for too much longer. So host up. Yeah. Let's see if we can test this theory. Go to my channel. I think I should be live. I just hosted Hazy. <laughs> like, so you could use me as an example. Yeah. All right. Let's see. It refreshes. The beginning. Let's see. Don't see. I wonder if it's a setting. It might be the case. Or I wonder where it would show because, like, how many viewers would it be showing? Which Maybe somebody's got to go to his page and watch. It's have one like, view. like my page. Oh, you mean like actually go to it? Yeah, because like as I'm saying, because like if not, how does it show how many? How many? Uh... Actually, I've been hosting. Uh, Hazy's on my auto. You're not hosting me right now, are you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't show that you're live, actually. But it does show it for some people. I've seen it before. Yeah, to be honest, I've seen it too. It worked for Yanni? What worked for you? Or maybe it's different, because maybe if I send a raid after, and then host. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm hosting... Well, Hazy's under my suggested streamer, so he should be hosted, but he's not on my channel. Who knows? Who knows? Which is... It is what it is. Yeah, so some people get shown live, and I've seen a non show that she's live before. So, whatever. Who 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 knows what the deal is? But um. <laughs> so before I was gonna say we were talking about announcements. Did you guys see Nick Merck's, uh I, I seen it on Instagram. Can they see it? What? He's having a kid. Is he? Yeah, oh, man, he's streaming. Is he still streaming? Uh, his streaming is like still. I didn't, I didn't click the video. Oh, I mean, he's no, been talking about it. Now. He's it been talking about it earlier. I mean, earlier, yeah, his uh, hey. his title was "I'm a dad" or "I'm gonna be a dad." I think. He's married. I think he got a video on YouTube, man. I'm pretty sure. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I see. It just popped up on my Instagram earlier. Congratulations. That's good. I know a lot of people know who Nick Merckx is. So talking about uh. 
<laughs> reveals before. That's pretty cool. If, have have you been I watching? Think it'd be a cool dad, though. Who Nick? Yeah. It's that's of course it's gonna be cool. I mean, <laughs> he's gonna fucking have no, his kid on the sticks cool crazy dad. early. Just play fucking games, yeah. Crazy early, he's gonna have his kid on the sticks, just like Tim the Tap Man. You know that brew is gonna fucking. Yo, has that have any, has anybody been watching the House of the Dragon show? Has anybody been yeah. watching it? Cause I want to spoil some shit. Is anybody into you it? The, ga- the Game shit, of Thrones I don't sequel. It. I don't plan on watching it. Vascular Tech, thank you for the host. Thank you everyone for the host. I'm not seeing anyone live though, which is unfortunate because I was so confident. Me too. I know I saw it myself, bro. I, I don't worry. I believe you, bro. Don't spoil it. Pro- uh, what? Don't spoil it. Spoil it. Yo, come I'm on. I'm about to say I'm with anonymous right now. This is crazy. I didn't want to be the first one to say. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I said it already. I've never seen any of that show. I don't, fuck, I don't plan on watching it. BFF. It ain't happening. I'm BFF. I'm not really. <laughs> Ranger, you're gonna have to mute. We'll oh, chuck I'm... up like deuces when you can unmute. No. <laughs> yeah, so I mean... are are we even allowed to talk? What do you mean you don't plan on it? It's a great show. As long as you don't watch the last three episodes of the Game of Thrones show, last, last two. The last two I had the last season tanked, like overall. Like it could have ended better. That's what I heard. I mean, yeah, but overall yeah. It was a great show, right? Overall is a great show. Yeah, very much a great show. It was. I feel like a lot of shows will have good endings, so like I, that's what makes you want to watch it. Fraser, we'll put it in chat. I don't even. You're want... good to go. It's listen. All right, I'll mute. All right, so. All right, all right, all right. Good, 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 good. Listen. It's a good show, but I'm not totally sold on it yet. She is in love with it. I'm waiting for the... <gasps> you know what I mean? I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for the excitement. You guys don't know shit about it. What's your favorite shows I right now? Do. I don't watch TV. I play video games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm more into like, you know... <laughs> you don't watch nothing? I don't watch shit. Um, nothing. I actually started the, the the new Batman movie and got about four seconds into it, and then kids were going crazy, and I didn't get to watch any of it. I watched some of it in the background, and I really want to watch it, so don't spoil that for me. I've been watching Raising Canaan. What we do in the shadows? Raising Canaan. Okay, the new season, like or the old, the 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 past one. Have you seen all of it? Yes, all of it. I've seen every single power, every single power. So so. But you haven't seen that yet. Raising Canaan? No, oh. oh, I've seen it. It's, it's out now, like the new season. Right, so you've been watching the new season. I've been, I've been watching the new season, and I think the second season so far is better than the first season because the first season wasn't all that. I new. like Patina Miller, the, uh, who who plays the mother. Um, oh, Rock, my God. Yeah, I Yo. really, really like her. her. She's crazy. She is crazy. Yeah, the 50 Cent show, the Ra- Raising Canaan show. She, she is a hell of an actress, that's for sure. Have you seen how she actually talks in real life? Do you ever get interested in that stuff? I, I don't know about you, but, but the way that I am is when I watch a movie and I'm into the, the actors that are playing those characters, they touch me in some way, I gotta know everything about them. That's how I am. Yo, honestly, Yo. I'm the same way too. And, and, and so the crazy part with, with power is because like, you've seen Kanan how he was in Ghost, and Kanan was a fucking, like, he was crazy. He was an asshole, you know? So, and this is supposed to be before that. I feel like Rock has to be the main reason of why he's an asshole. Like, like Rock don't give a fuck about her son. She sent spoiler. him to go body somebody, bro. Like, man, that's, yo, my spoiler is Kanan killed his mother. Uh, he gonna, he gonna th- kill them. You think at so? The, at the end of the Raising Candy series, I'm calling it right now. Oh, right and now. then, like, that's what fucking, that's, that's what... what Fucking, ends up him being crazy and yeah. goes turn up and he ends up being in jail or some shit. I think it's something like that to me personally. I don't know. I'm calling it right now, though. We're going to call it just in case. <laughs> I was going to say, when I got into... Uh, this is going to go back a little bit. When I got into uh, Walking Dead... I haven't I seen, really, like, the last three real. seasons. Yeah, I haven't watched any of it in years, but I got, like, really into it. And then when I found out that they were all British actors with British accents, I was like mind boggled because they do the American accent like so well and I was like what a lot of people like that too 
No, I know, but like Spider Man. I was like so mind boggling. So right. mind boggling. Superman. Major things. Wait a second. I stopped watching Walking Dead after they killed. Uh, One Piece is a show? When? One Piece is a anime. An anime? I believe so. I've never seen that. Oh. I'm about to end. Yo, Munch, what's up? How was your movie? Thousand plus Fraser episodes. Can unmute, right? We can tell Fraser can unmute. Yeah, unmute uh P. Give me yeah, a second. Yeah. Um What's the most recent movie that you've seen if you haven't even watched fucking Batman? I actually watched Uncharted. I watched Uncharted the other day. That's not a bad movie with Wahlberg. It's actually and... pretty good. I thought it was good. Wahlberg and Tom Holland. Yeah, it's based on a game. Uh, I don't know if you ever played it. I never played it. I have it. played, I played it Uncharted. For... I've played it, but briefly, I didn't get get too into it. But it, I actually, uh, it was a good movie. Brad Pitt Bullet Train, right? I haven't seen that one yet. I want to see that. Uh, who else is in that one? The new Top Gun is legit. You seen Maverick? I you didn't see Maverick? Movie. Come on. No, I haven't seen Maverick. Damn, man. I don't know my, my last movie I've seen. This is what I'm saying. That guy to be honest. Yo, yo, clutch. When he gets back, tell him you don't watch TV. You watch the Rage. <laughs> I mean, I do that too, though. I mean, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like you don't have time for TV. I'm watching the always. Train. What I do. <laughs> <laughs> so we all do out here. No, but then I, I can't really. Think. Nah, I, mean, I, 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 I used guy. to be. I don't know why. I just been like <laughs> mad into that shit lately. Into what? Ink Master. Oh yeah, it's I was a good show. I used to watch that a lot back back in the day. I can't watch that shit, man. It makes me watch makes me want to watch too many tattoos. I know, I just want those. <laughs> I can't ones. afford them shits, man. <laughs> we were talking about it, we talked about it last week and uh, and I was like, shit, man, now I need to and I was like, shit, I'm poor, I can't do it. What other shows, man? What's oh. going on, man? What up, money? I don't really watch too many TV shows. I'm not gonna buy it. Yeah, bro. Like I said, not even my last movie. I said Jackass, which I thought was. I need to cool. watch this new Batman because I it, it actually looked like it was pretty good. I didn't get to. I didn't, I had to, I had started it and then the kids went a little crazy. I heard it. I heard that, it was uh, good to be party. honest. With uh, you know, Twilight. Yep. Yeah, it looked like he did a better job than I thought. Yeah, he was going to do from what I had seen. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, at first, I was like. Yeah, so actually, Hazy, you you can kind of probably clear this up. This this new Batman. This is like, how old is he? Who? He's young, Batman. Like in in not not Robert Pattinson, but like Batman. He's in that he's movie. A young Batman, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's uh, probably in his twenties. Yeah, college age, I would right? say that he was probably mid twenties. I don't know. Straight out of college. I don't know. He's supposed to be a young been, Batman, yeah. though. Yes, he's not supposed to okay. be. He's not even supposed to be so like Christian seen, Bale, like. Old, I don't think. Like no, that it's supposed to, I mean, like, for what it was looking like, he was like kind of emo, emo, like almost like a still mourning his parents kind of mm. thing. I, like I said, I didn't get to, I didn't get to see all of it. Like I said, I started it and then I was kind of watching it with no volume because there was kids running around like crazy. Um, so I was like, I was kind of watching it and it was, it was pretty interesting. Like, it looked like it was good. It is good, it weird, but though. it's like, also it weird. like the Riddler was kind of weird he's a fucking no this is a scary dark like batman it's like an emo batman that's fucking bruce wayne is emo i guess if you want to (laughs) say anything and he only looks that way because he has this his hair's all fucked up from having the mask on and he's got the black painted around his eyes from having the mask like you know what i mean so it's like he looks like that but he's not really fucking I don't know. I wouldn't say he's no. emo. He's a badass in there, dude. He really is. Like, and he's, it's very realistic. So, like, his mask is fucking leather, right? Like, his, his fucking shit is bulletproof, obviously, right? But, like, it just looks more real. Like, but it's he doesn't, not like super, it's like not the super, it's not super fake shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, I don't know, man. There's, like, when he jumps out of a building, he can't just land on his feet. He's got to, have like this bubble protect him so that way when he falls it's like he fucking 
You know what I mean? He's not jumping off a fucking side scraper. Yeah, and he's not flying. Landing. Like, he's fucking... He's I don't know. It's just a... It's a dark version of Batman. Not like Batman and Robin where the Riddler is in tights. Yeah, absolutely not. This That's Batman is an actual... Jim Carrey just prancing around. No, this guy's a terrorist. Right? Like, he's a, he's a terrorist. He's a psychopath terrorist. Like, serial killer. You know what I mean? Like, he's... Yeah. He's really nasty. And then the Joker at the end is really fucked up. Like, really fucking gone. And they're coming out with Batman 2. So, they're coming out with Batman 2. And what are they going to do now that the... A bit more more violent, too. What are they... Good night, Hadouken. Have a good one, brother. Who's Joker in that movie? Who? He wasn't, like, a, a credited actor role. I forget his name, but I don't know him. Like, I don't know the guy from anything. But he's all, like, burned and shit, right? His hair's all patchy. Like, he's just really fucking scary looking. And um, if they're making a second one where the Joker comes in, then they really are keeping... Because Joker, Joker is, is going to have Harley Quinn fucking Lady Gaga, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, too. Lady Gaga is going to be Harley Quinn. Do you think she's gonna for that? You think? I don't know. Yeah. No, I just, just that is meant for looks. <laughs> it could be just like a number of things, but I could see her paying the role good because like she always been like the little demonic type in a way, you know. Did you see her in American out. Horror st- st- a Story? No, I'm no. not sure I haven't saw either. So, dude, and in House of Gucci, she's not a joke. Like, she's oh, an she's actress. Good, like, yeah, nah, she's yeah, not she's a joke. Great. Yeah, yeah. She's oh, not a joke. The, so She could play in the role good, for sure. Bro, she's not a joke. And apparently she's a method actress, too. So she, like, lived as uh, this Gucci character for fucking, like, a year. <laughs> could you imagine? That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that, that's well, some people take that acting to that uh, point, that dedication. I respect yeah, like, that. Like, like Jared yeah, Leto. Like Heath Ledger. Jared Leto. Yeah, he he Heath. was not a method actor, Heath Ledger. What do you mean method? Where they live in the role that they play. Right? Like, you don't think he, was- he wasn't. He wasn't. No. My, uh, uh, Michael Ja White actually says it. He's like, there's a there's an interview where he he does he he talks about how Heath Ledger was in between takes laughing and joking around. He wasn't the Joker constantly. He could turn it on and off. Right? But like Jared Leto was a method actor where he was sending Will Smith fucking dead rats and Margot Robbie dead rats and shit like as presents. Oh, That's just weird. Event? Oh my god. That Johnny Depp as what? At, uh, Ragnarok. That's that, that. I was thinking like Michael B. Jordan just because he transitioned his whole workout phase to be able to be Creed. Right? I think that was his first movie, The Creed. Not his first movie. He's been. He was a kid actor. I mean, not his first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was a kid actor. I'm saying like his uh, first movie where he like had to take in the whole like workout transition. He had to work out like three months heavy mm. before taking. What was that movie that, that Will Smith, uh, Will Smith, fucking Fifty Cent did where he like lost fucking? <laughs> he thought oh, he was getting had. an Oscar. When right. he did that, you know, he looked. Crazy. I've never seen it. I just it was a direct the, the video memes. movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. He thought he was gonna be. He thought he was gonna be a fucking. Get an Something. Oscar for that shit. It's a yeah. It's a method. Oh, Johnny Depp, right? Yeah, right. The uh, the method acting is is like people actually live in these roles, man, and they get oh. fucking real nasty. Yep. Yes. Yes. You can't be. Um, let's take a topic for the last twenty minutes out of uh, out of podcast right, topics. Podcast. Let me up to you. There's a few couple that I like. Hi, lady was talking about <clears throat> dreams, dreaming, the craziest dreams that you've had, why we dream, and what do dreams mean. But I think that I think that that's like a whole hour conversation. Like if I you touched you, upon that like bro. last week. Tattoos. My dreams I have gone for days, bro, for days. Cloudy uh, with the cross platform stuff. Anon with the Conker's Bad Fur Day. Money Wave with the greatest Mario games. P talking about new games coming out. Air, uh, Care Bear, uh, you can make 
Tell them about friendships you, you make online. Chopper wants to talk about... It would be good for everyone. Uh, the pros and cons of owning a networking server and the strains it puts on the personal lives and relationships of the people involved in it. That's, that's going to be a special, two-hour special. You yeah, think so? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot, dude. That's every fucking experience I've been through. Yeah. You don't think you could talk about that for two hours? I mean, I don't really want to fucking talk about it. <laughs> you know no, what I mean? No, I don't think you should talk about it. I'm just saying, like, that's that's a that's a big one. That's a big Thank one. God. There's so much. There is a lot. So much emotions. There's a ton of emotions that come with doing stuff like this. It's incredibly difficult. I was actually reading Friendship. Friendship, yeah. There's so much of it. It's It's... But it, it, it's also hard to, to lose relationships, too. Yeah, there's a yeah, lot of hurt in there. When shit happens that you don't, you know, you build this friendship, you become friends with somebody, and then some, some bullshit happens, you know, something happens. See it too much. A lot of stress, man. See it too much. Like, he's and her got two hours worth of thoughts. So <laughs> That's a hot ones topic. Hell yes. Hot ones topic. It's like that. You know, speaking of hot ones. Oh, so we're talking about some new games. Oh, uh, yeah. Eat your fucking Takis, bro. You like them? No, I just so, I'll tell you some too. Where's my? Uh... Gotta do the insulin thing. <laughs> I'm glad we're stuck with you, bro. Yo, Ragnarok, Munch Crunch, Money Wave, P. Fraser, Anon, Hadouken. I know you just went to bed. Vascular Tech, thank you guys for hanging with us. But um. Oh, I'm gonna eat some, but first we gotta do the whole insulin. Gotta do your insulin, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, yo, so I, I, I told you guys, right? Like, I don't have the insulin pump. It's, uh... I hate that. Dude, this shit is amazing, dude. I just have this little device. I tell it to, uh... To do the damn thing. I is hate the them. Blue one my... Are they worse? I think well. I'm to... Sorry. I'm about to get the blue one next. This is what I have to wear. I wear this thing on my leg. I tell it through my little device to give me the insulin and it does. Great. Not eating a whole bag on stream. No way. I said no way. I was going to say new, new games. Um, That's what I want to do. Hey, Z, have you? I know you like you got into to Destiny again for a little while, but you haven't been on it. Have you seen the the stuff about Lightfall, the next expansion? That's going to be the beginning of the end. I don't know, man. They keep they keep talking about not ending it. <laughs> it's like going to stay Destiny two forever. I don't but, understand. No, it's, it, it looks like it's introducing like new, a uh, whole new, uh, a whole new enemy, a whole new species. Wow. I haven't looked too much into it, but I remember seeing there was like a reveal trailer for it. Let's see. See that one Taki is hot, too hot for me, bro. Like I don't like that. That shit is not good. Nobody should drink <laughs> that. Nobody should eat that. Like for fun, you know what I mean? Not that bad. It's, come on. <laughs> Yo, my biggest fear about these things is getting just fucking saucer or powder over my fucking mouth. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think you put them all right. <laughs> what? Uh, when's our next episode at? So next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. I'll be thirty-five by then. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'll How be 35 feel? by then, bro. Damn. How you feel? I don't feel 35. <laughs> no. How do you feel? Like I'm Older, 14. Awesome. If you're 14. Mentally I really do. Mentally and physically, I feel fucking great. Damn. Damn. It's, it's, no, it's I really crazy. do. I feel fine. No, I mean, it's great. No, I'm saying it's great because I feel like I'm about to be 50. Maybe 60. I don't know. It's rough. I don't work out well. Crazy fuck. I feel like mentally I'm young, but like my body physically is probably older, you know? But Yeah, holy shit. What day's your what day's your birthday? <laughs> the fourteenth. I'm sure it's it's crazy for my mom too, right? Thirty five years old, I'm her oldest child. Let's go. But I'm saying thirty five, man, like I'm 
Like I can really clearly remember like my father's 40th birthday. Like they had a big ass party for him, like an over the hill party. Like I remember that party. He was over the hill. I was a young kid. I was probably fucking like six or seven years old. But now I'm right there. That's awesome. Awesome. It's like my oldest uh, like, when you can reach the little moments. The, my the oldest son is reach. September oh too. Yesterday. My oldest son turned seventeen yesterday. It's crazy. <laughs> You halfway, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. I'm halfway to you. I was saying, like, I got like my son is just six. He's about to actually start first grade tomorrow. Like uh, oh, nice. tomorrow's first day. I'm, it's tomorrow's first day. I'm about to walk him to school to his class. And nice, bro. He's gonna be in school with a couple of friends that he already knows. So it's, it's first, day awesome first, 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 day first day in first grade. Are you nervous? I mean, we know. I mean, I I know what to expect. It's basically the same parents from last year, you know. We're all gonna, we all. Yeah, but like you're not nervous, right? I'm not. I'm I'm probably more nervous for him, but he's just excited about it, you know. He's he's. He can't wait just happened. He moved out the hood. Yeah, yo, that too. That's one thing for sure. I had to get out the hood. I was not letting my son go around there. Yeah, man. And uh, then yeah, he'd be nervous. So that's that's why I I enjoy it. He's he's really excited, so I'm I'm excited to see him happy about it, you know. It's good he's excited about it, man. So it's not it's not good when they're not excited. I think that's when it gets a little, gonna be a hell. little more older. When they're like 9 or 10 or some shit, like when they realize, like, fuck, back to school, back to work. I don't know. My, my kid's going back to He went back to school yesterday on his birth, so on his 17th birthday, and he wasn't, like, upset about it. Like, I mean, I'm sure he didn't want to go, but he wasn't like, oh, <laughs> you know? That's Me, I was like, F, fuck that shit. Cutting <laughs> class on the first day. Class wasn't good, day. man. That's not nice. My kid, like, luckily, I luckily, my kid is a lot better than I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, that was my that was my high school days. So you I guys were fuck ups kid. in school or what? Uh, I wouldn't say like, a complete fuck up. up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I graduated <laughs> on time. My senior year, though, I went to an alternative school. I don't know if you ever heard of that alternative. Huh? So I didn't graduate with my public high school. It was alternative high school is basically where like people like they were trying to hold me back. They were trying to hold me back a whole year. My junior Plus year. Was fighting people and shit. And then I was like, nah, I wasn't even fighting. It was just kind of class. I wasn't like keeping on my grades. It wasn't I wasn't like a reckless child or not. You know, I was just, you know, school didn't be shit to me, I guess personally. But then when I went to alternative school, um, I got there my senior year. I had a recommendation because a lot of my cousins actually went there. So it was actually easy for me to get into there. But bro, I'm telling you, my senior year. Passed with flying colors. I was a straight A student. <laughs> I didn't um, have to do community service compared to like a lot of kids that <laughs> went to public school. Um, and I graduated on time with my whole class. And it was basically just a fucking like daycare, bro. Like the the work was just so easy. They will literally like copy a whole textbook to like an essay, and they'll miss some words, and they give you the textbook to do during the test, and you just gotta copy those words in it. <laughs> and to make it, you know, like complete the fucking essay. It was so easy. Graduated on time. I, I was just a smart ass. I did not graduate. Yeah. I graduated, got a GED. I just stopped I going. But I went to summer school. At least that. Oh, that's yeah. like like at one point. <laughs> I <laughs> I think that I think that initially they didn't call home. When I skipped school, like, I was still, like, this was still that many years ago, like, before they were calling home all the time. But, like, I think they ended up expelling me because I missed too many days. So, I'm pretty sure that I had to go to, like, some kind of meeting with the principal and swear that I wouldn't cut class. And then the first day of school, the next year, I cut and then, class. And then walk out, he walked out right after the meeting and got fucked this. I was like, dude, <laughs> I can't fucking do this. There was just, I had no tolerance, man. I don't know what it was. I wish that I could do it over, though, because I would totally pay attention in school. Just because I like to learn. You know what I mean? Like, I like to read that same That's shit funny. that they taught me, they were trying to teach me, but I just don't like how they were delivering it. 
Now, that's a, a big thing too that like in school like i don't like luckily i'm i'm i don't have a problem with it but not every kid could take a fucking multiple choice test that shit fucks with them mm-hmm. like the whole standardized testing system i mean because is a good uh good way of determining someone's like happy i feel like to <laughs> me like, there was a shot teacher just pointless like that's why i never took school serious like, I don't know, need to know about this, like, history and shit and, and whatnot. Should be teaching people, like, you know, how to do their taxes. To uh, t- yeah, it's another... Th- I was I so like smart, I was bored. I don't know if that's true, but I'll take it. I mean, that that sounds <laughs> that sounds much better than he just didn't want to do it. <laughs> so, damn, like, it's like, who was senseless? We, we, all of our minds is different, and we expand, and it's just, we, we realize to a certain extent. I didn't... I, I just didn't want to be, I don't know what I wanted, fucking, I have no idea. I know that I was definitely good with certain things, certain subjects, I would pass. Certain things I, I'd enjoy math. doing, right? Math was my favorite, bro, I love math. I like yeah, math science has- and shit. Science and history. Like, when I ended up getting locked up, bro, I ended up asking my fucking mother to send me books about, like, the wars and from the history and shit. Like, I know so much shit about fucking stuff you have no, like, for no reason. Right? For no like, reason. for no fucking reason. My brother is like that shit. That's my brother is like, like, why do I need to know this? <laughs> you bring up some random shit. My brother's got 45 facts. I'll show you how to do it. I'm like, Bro, I have so much fucking knowledge, so much shit. What kind of science, chemistry, biology, like, just just all, like, I don't, rem- I didn't make it past the ninth grade. I made it to 10th grade, but I never passed 10th grade. So, like, I passed ninth grade, and then I never went to school again. Like, I did not enjoy going to school and being around people. Like, I don't know. I much rather preferred to go... Like, I'd much rather go down the road to a buddy's, like, house and and smoke weed and watch Discovery Channel. You know what I mean? Like, I would do that. <laughs> I would do that instead. That you know what I mean? Junior. That was my junior year. <laughs> That's when I fucked up. Yeah, maybe. I, I there's... I, I like a fucking situation. Like I said, yeah, at least you got your GED, bro. Like, I that, did, but a- see, yo, I got my GED I'm, without even I'm, trying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, alternative school for me. I got the same shit without even trying. I feel like I got like a jip off, but fuck it, we do what we gotta do. When I was in this, I was in this rehab, right? They ended up putting me in rehab when I got arrested this last time, and um, I went to that motherfucker for like nine months or something, ten months. The whole time I was in there, I had like a position of uh, authority, right? Because those places run run themselves. So I didn't really have to do a lot of the things. And, it, and when I did have to do that stuff, they would pull me from it. So, like, I didn't really go to school when I was there, right? And then it was a couple weeks before I was getting ready to leave, and they were like, yo, you got to take this test. Like, you at least have to take it. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll take it, right? And I remember very clearly that I ran out of time. I wasn't, like, I started late. And I was running out of time. And the last, like, 30 questions, I just answered whatever. I literally didn't have the time to, to do it. And I still passed it. It's fucking crazy. Like, crazy, bro. <laughs> meant to be, bro. Some shit is some, meant to be. Some shit just sticks, dude. We all, all right. turned out great. We got to get out of here. We got to gotta clean up here. Peeps, it's always a pleasure. We're fucking 28 episodes in. 28 hours of content. Uh, jump on to where is it? The Yo, website. Is it, Hit is the just website. King Lemon follow up the, re- the podcast a lot. A lot. A lot. He knows how to pick <laughs> his times. <laughs> Good night, Ma. Thanks for coming in and hanging. Out. I appreciate you. Love you. <laughs> I was like, King Lemon again. Evelyn, appreciate you, man. Thanks for everybody coming by. Yeah, good seeing everybody again. Everybody. Fortunately, now we got the long week. The Raging Noob, Cobra, Ragnarok, Nikki Nonsense, Roll with Rich, Money Wave, Miss Kyron, P. Frazier, Dopey, Treble Gal, Money Money Wave, and Ma, Liana's Guard, Money Wave. Guys, you know what to do. Jump on to the website, buy a t-shirt, support the brand. I know you did. 
That's I'm cool. asking. I I'm ordered asking, it while we were talking. I'm asking them now. Go buy a T-shirt. No, I'm just. It's, please. This is how we give away T-shirts. So we need you to buy T-shirts. Buy T-shirts, please. Big thank fact, you. Big thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Have a good everybody. Buy, buy a t-shirt, support the Ray Train. Maybe Yo, is that not t-shirt. working? It's like a two for one. Oh, there That's it is. Working. <laughs> Socials? <laughs>